While you were throwing hearts all over Twitter, you probably missed UAV smart flight, prototyping with tape, and the phone wristwatch you did not need. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where we embrace even the most pointless tech so long as it's in R2-D2 form, even though it only holds six beers. It's a fabulous tech world out there, but there's no doubt some of it seems not quite necessary. Exhibit A, the new Rufus cut, I think it's Rufus. Rufus? Rufus, what the fuck? Which is basically a phone strapped to your wrist, AKA the biggest nerd calculator wristwatch of all time. It's a calculator, I'm never gonna forget this. Watch this bozo make a call from his wrist. To be fair, it actually works and runs all your apps since it's built on Android, but couldn't you just use your phone? It's no different. See? Woo! Exhibit B out of our not so sure it's necessary file is this phone case called Loopy, which is on Kickstarter now. I gotta be honest, they sent me one to try and having it in my hand and still able to hold things is kind of great. Oh my God, I'm the target audience. Autonomous drones are all well and good, at least until they crash themselves into something big. But this new UAV from MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Lab can fly through forests at up to 30 miles per hour without touching a thing. It's all thanks to CSAIL's new obstacle avoidance algorithm. Unlike existing methods that scan for obstacles at multiple distances, this one only looks for trouble at a range of 10 meters. Doing so lets the drone react in just 8.3 milliseconds and blow through the woods at breakneck speeds. If only the Empire had this sort of technology. Ah! Non-abstract thinkers can get some prototype help with the new point-and-shoot Proto Piper. This computer-aided device can fabricate large-scale 3D designs out of regular old packing tape. Depending on the designer's needs, the Nerf gun-looking prototyper can extrude and form the tape into different shapes. Since the tubes are hollow and lightweight, users can sketch large temporary objects in real space to make sure that couch will actually fit before hauling it all the way in. And finally, you need to see these images of the sun courtesy of the view outside of Earth from the Solar Dynamics Observatory in space. It captured these images in 10 different wavelengths, highlighting a different temperature of solar material with each one. Later dudes, relaxed.